Welcome to Natural Wisdom once again. Subscribe to our channel, like and stay tuned for future videos. The blood type AB. Now we are gonna go and dive deep into this blood type because it is so rare that uh, it deserves a proper uh, profile and detailed diet and individual lifestyle for ABs. Eat right for your wellness. Let's begin. So people who are AB blood type have a different set of characteristics than people who are type O. They are susceptible to different diseases. They should eat different foods and exercise in a completely different manner. Some believe that personality is influenced by blood type. Dr. Dadamo, author of the best-selling books Eat Right for Your Type and Live Right for Your Type, among others, gives us a blueprint for living in his books. The blood type AB individualized lifestyle. Type AB blood is rare. It's found in less than 5% of the population and it is the newest of the blood types. Until 10 or 12 centuries ago, there was literally no blood type AB. This is because type AB results from the intermingling of A and B types. Unlike virtually every other gene which has dominant and recessive variations, for example, a blood type O with a blood type A will always most likely come out a blood type A from a child because the blood type A is more dominant and the blood type O is more recessive. But in this case, with A and B, they coexist with each other and they can make a child blood type AB. Type AB has a unique chameleon-like quality. Depending on the circumstances, this blood type can appropriate the characteristics of each other blood types. Type AB reflects the mixed inheritance of their A and B genes. According to Dr. Dadamo, type AB has type A's low stomach acid. However, they also have type B's adaptation to meats. Therefore, you lack enough stomach acid to metabolize them efficiently and the meat you eat tends to get stored as fat. Because type AB's has both the A and the B blood type antigens, foods that contain chemicals called lectins are more likely to react with the tissues and cells of ABs than any other blood types. So let's go for the food. What to eat and what to avoid. Type AB should avoid caffeine and alcohol, just like blood type O, especially when you are in stressful situations. Dr. Dadamo recommends that type AB focus on foods such as tofu, seafood, dairy, green vegetables, and if you're trying to lose weight. Avoid all smoked or cured meats. These foods can cause stomach cancer in people with low levels of stomach acid, recommends Dr. Dadamo. So regarding to the, to the stomach cancer because of the foods, this means that it's not really because of food itself, but anyone who has low metabolism proliferates cancer because cancer loves the environment of low metabolism. So no matter what food you eat that lowers your metabolism, you are in this risk. So there is a, a wide variety of seafood for blood type AB and it is an excellent source of protein for type ABs. A few highly beneficial fish are mahi-mahi, red snapper, salmon, sardines and tuna. And some dairy is also beneficial for type ABs, especially cultured dairy such as yogurt and kefir. The best is sweet to raw. When you have low levels of digestive secretions, Food tends to stay in the stomach longer, explains Dadamo. He also suggests that type ABs pay attention to combining certain foods. For example, you'll digest and metabolize foods more efficiently if you avoid eating starches and proteins in the same meal. So we found a much more detailed AB blood type, just to finish up. So the foods to avoid for blood type AB are on the meat, it's the bacon, beef, buffalo, chicken, Cornish hen, duck, goose, pork, partridge, veal, venison, and quail. The fish and seafood are all shellfish, anchovy, barracuda, beluga, bluegill bass, founder, hedgehog, halibut, herring, heel, frog, yox, octopus, sea bass, 
strip bass, turtle yellowtail, and the dairy, it's the American cheese, blue cheese, bry, butter, buttermilk, camembert, ice cream, parsimon, provolone, chambet, whole milk. The nuts are felbert, which is uh, the hazelnut, poppy seed, pumpkin seed, sesame seed, sunflower seed. The fats are corn oil, cotton seed oil, sunflower oil, sesame seed oil, sunflower oil. Beans are kidney bean, lima bean, adzuki bean, aduk bean, black bean, fava bean, garbanzo, black IP bean. The grains are buckwheat, corn, camu, caixa, soba noodles, artichoke pasta, sorghum, tapioca, teff and wheat. The vegetables are artichoke, avocado, black olive, bell peppers, radish, mung bean sprout, radish sprout. The fruits are to avoid mango, guava, coconut, banana, orange. And the spices are allspice, almond extract, anise, barley, malt, pepper, cornstarch, corn syrup, gelatin, vinegar, white pepper, black pepper, cayenne pepper, red pepper flake. Alcohol is distilled liquor and caffeine is coffee, black tea and soda. That was a lot of foods to avoid, but uh, as uh, in the natural wisdom, we recommend by self-experience. I know that it is a lot of foods and that's why many people do not follow the blood type diet and they, and they criticize it because of so many foods. But you have to realize that this is for your health. You can do whatever you want, do, as, do what you feel, follow your intuition, uh, introduce foods here and there and remove foods, the ones that doesn't serve you, and you will see by yourself. Don't follow the blood type like uh, a religion. Follow the blood type as per feeling. Don't follow because someone is telling you to. Just follow because you want your best. You want to lose weight, you want to feel pain-free, right? So let's, let's go for the, the foods to eat. In the meat, lamb, muton, rabbit and turkey. I love turkey, I'm a blood type one. Fish, seafood, you will have to eat the tuna, cod, grouper, hake, mackerel, mahi-mahi, monkfish, ocean perk, pike, porgy, trout, red snapper, snailfish, pickerel, sardine, chair, snail and sturgeon. So there is quite a lot of fish to eat. The dairy is yogurt, kefir, non-fat sour cream, mozzarella, cheddar, colby, gouda, gruyere, Monterey Jack, Monster, Swiss, goat cheese and milk, ricotta and eggs. So all these you can eat, it's a, quite a huge amount. The meats are the only ones who are much less. But you have to realize that uh, meats are not the biggest amount of food that everyone on earth eats anyways. We always eat less. And then the fish we eat a little bit more. And then dairy we eat more. And then the plants even more and so on. So go by intuition. Nuts. So the nuts to eat are peanuts and walnuts, the only ones to eat. Just uh, realize that uh, blood type O cannot, cannot eat and shouldn't eat, especially when it's non secretor all nuts. And only macadamia is uh, allowed. So you have peanuts and walnuts, so it's not bad, it's quite good. Fats are olive oil, okay? I think you could try coconut oil, but I'm not sure. Uh, beans and legumes, you should eat lentils, navi bean, pinto bean, red bean, soybean. And the mother of my girlfriend, she has a lot of passion for lentils, for peanuts and for dairy. So go for it. Grains. You should eat millet, oat bran, oatmeal, rice bran, puffed rice, rye, spelt, sprouted wheat, rice, all products made from rice, flour, including bread and noodles. So the vegetables are all kinds except for the ones mentioned above which is the ones to avoid. Fruits, all kinds except the ones that we mentioned to avoid. Spices and additives are kelp, miso, curry, garlic, horseradish, parsley. These are amazing for your blood type. And for alcohol, if you feel to drink one glass, you can drink beer and wine. Green tea are advised because blood type A should increase their metabolism with uh, green tea or if you like black tea, even coffee. 
but because blood type B and O should avoid more, then you can drink green tea, it's very good for you. It is also recommended that people following the blood type AB diet uh, should drink beverages and teas, take alpha alpha chamomile, uh, then dillion, burdock root, strawberry leaf, green tea, uh, hot thorn and licorice. These are amazing for the teas. So that's it for today. I hope you understood how it works, <laughs> the blood types. And make sure to check the other blood type videos and we'll give you a lot more information. We'll fill you up with uh, future videos regarding blood types and blood type secretions and all this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.